Um, next clip, um, very much still on the uh, on the area of um, of AI. This is very much an AI themed episode, actually. But um, somebody sent me this on Twitter. Uh, if you enjoy the show and would like to send me clips on Twitter, then my, my handle is on the screen at the moment. Um, this is replit.com. Um, the uh, Amjad Masad, uh, the genius uh, founder of of the company, there has created um, something which. Um, gets me nervous as the owner of a, of a software engineering recruitment agency because it's AI which could replace software engineers. Um, let me show the, the clip to you. Um, this is uh, essentially talking to um, the phone using voice, um, asking it to create an application. So make me an app that lets me record my workout and publish them. And then boom, da 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 da, -da code is written, app is published. And then the app has been made in seconds using voice. And it works. They test it out. They type in um, what they want to do, what exercise. They click submit, and boom, it, it uh, publishes the, the app. That's replit.com. Um, interesting, right? I know that's a basic app, but we can all see where that potentially could lead to. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on this? We'll, we'll start with yourself, Samia. You are a director of a large software engineering team. You've been in that industry for decades. What, what's your view when you see um, somebody creating an app by speaking into a phone for 20 seconds. I think it's a great progress. It's incredible to see yeah. how and where AI has come. Um, I mean, GPT-4, I mean, can do a lot of things yeah. by taking text. It can write poems, it can write code, it can do all sorts of things. I think wherever, in whatever industry, people have been really kind of doing mundane things and then maybe doing... Um, not very creative things. Mm. Maybe they can be get exposed to the automation, complete automation. Um, in this case, software engineers. I don't think it will be a complete extension, mm. but there will definitely be a an element or maybe a um, greater element to automation, sure. and then um, it will increase the efficiency. Yes, and uh, the quality. Yeah, uh, and the security of it, which is a positive side. Um, but that goes without saying, and it, it's for across the industry yeah. um, where automation is the yes. way to go, and it's getting automated everywhere, and software engineers are taking help from um, technology, and they are using and they are automating themselves mm. um, to make the process faster and quicker. In that, if it, it um, exposes the software engineers to um, automation and then replacing some of them, I think it is quite possible. Yeah, I, possible. I think you're probably right that, that, that maybe the bad ones will be replaced and the, the good 10x engineers will become 100x engineers, you know, by using it not as a replacement, but as a co-pilot to, to really allow them to uh, to scale and, and, and do a lot more with, with, with less time. Um, what, what's your take, Varun, on, on that clip when you when you see that? What's your reaction? Uh, it's funny that that particular example involved a workout app, which is uh, <laughs> yeah, your world, man. You know, sort of what we do. Um, but in a way, it's actually interesting to see because obviously we actually see our, our human developers in our office, yes, uh, developing something not you know, um, obviously much more sophisticated than that, but yeah. um, in a similar similar style. And I think um, you know, ultimately, any. What what we do as a company and and what I, I guess the makers of that particular um, video um, app the, the app in that video that you showed, ultimately they're trying to build something that's valuable to an end user, yes. um, and in this case, um, hopefully help them with their health, health and fitness. So, building an app really is just the means to an end. Um, it's it shouldn't if if there is a way to bring that experience, bring that utility to people in a much easier, mm -hmm. faster, cheaper way then the market should default to whatever that that thing is sure um and and as as just discussed i think um you know there are lots of dangers with ai but similarly there's lots of benefits to it as well and and i think this is one of them which advances you know discovery advances education and anything which um enables us to to automate perhaps simpler rote tasks which are probably not worth the human spending time on sure yeah it it ultimately is better because it frees their time to focus on higher uh, more creative endeavors and yeah. uh, things which are i think as you said 100x as opposed to the to the 1x yeah 
Um, so it's actually great to see. Um, and I actually hope our developers in our own company, you know, utilize these types of things to, to make their own work quicker. Yeah. Um, because I don't think they will be phased out in all honesty. Um, but it, 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 if they, if it can make their work quicker so they can it freeze them up to do the hundred X tasks, then, then that's ultimately a benefit for us as a company. Yes. And I think it's a benefit to, to consumers as well, because they get technology much quicker and, and cheaper perhaps. Okay. I mean, that was basic <coughs> HTML, CSS, JS, mm. but you guys are like Flutter, right? What do you work with? Yeah. Flutter. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's a little bit more complex, but we, we can see where this is going, right? This app was uh, pretty simple, but do you see this possibly improving, you know, when we get, like, really complex SaaS applications, social networking sites, you know, if you can talk to it and create that in five years from now, will you be able to talk to it and create Netflix or, or create something even more more complex? What Do you think that's a possibility, Sana? Yeah, 100%, definitely a possibility, you know. Um, Technology is always improving, always advancing. Um, just, I mean, the example you just showed us, right, I think, let's say a year ago, I would have been quite surprised to have seen something like this happen. Yeah. And look where we are now, you know. And if we go back maybe uh, three, four years, we look at, or even further back, we look at sort of WordPress and Squarespace, and there's there's oh, a yeah. new one that came out as well a few years ago. I don't remember the name, but uh, that's replaced um, you know the need for software developers in some capacity yeah but as we said you know new sort of innovation creates new opportunities so you know it makes the developers who were previously building those sort of simple websites for their customers focus more on um, sort of more complex tasks yeah you know so it makes them sort of skill up i suppose and become 100x like you said as opposed to 10x yes so to answer your question yeah 100 percent, i can definitely see that happening Hey, thanks for watching this YouTube video. If you want to see more like this, please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.